5.41 a.m. I am slowly making my way through 5.40 a.m. morning traffic. I don't know, kind of weird. Phoenix is actually getting like pretty bad traffic these days. I think I've said that before. Like it's definitely nowhere near LA, but I mean, it's bad. It's really, really bad. Phoenix, I think, is like the fifth largest city in the country or something. So, I mean, it's definitely up there. But anyways, good morning. I'm headed to the airport. I'm so excited to head back home today. You know, I've spent 17 years of my life living in Nashville and I, I think some people still don't know that and so it's like equally just as much my home as Arizona sometimes even more so because it was like my formative years living there I moved there when I was 12 and I left when I was like 28 or something like that so I'm very excited to head back it's like a huge part of my life I mean I spent most of my childhood and young adulthood there so anyways I'm very excited and I can't wait I can't wait to see my dad. I can't wait to be back at my old house. My dad has this cute little, like, basically like a cottage. This is a great lighting situation for me. He basically has like a cottage in the woods and it's amazing. And I just, it's so homey and I just can't wait to be back there. We're gonna head to Nashville. I can't believe it. Ugh, just such a dork. So I just got in to my dad's and he's got the little guest room all set up for me. This is my bedspread from quite literally seventh grade. Like this is actually my bedding from middle school. We have a pothos. He has propagated this pothos like 20 times, literally no kidding. It was from when my brother was born. My brother is turning 20 this year, so pretty crazy. He has a giant croton, I think is what it's called in here. And here's my little setup. If anyone has been watching me since the beginning of my YouTube journey. Pretty soon after I started my main channel, I filmed against this wall, I filmed against this wall, I filmed like half of my story times here. I lived in this house for almost three years, I wanna say. It's really, really nice to be back. I'm just feeling very happy. High above the mountains Far across the sea Carving out a canyon Destroying me Reasons for my wonder The run I'll never reach Good morning, everybody. It feels really, really good to be home. This has like been very healing and it's only been like 24 hours since I've been here, not even. It's really wild to come, I mean, for me anyways, I grew up moving 
a lot. This table is very wobbly, I'm sorry. Even though we stayed in Tennessee for quite a while, I lived here for 17 years, and like I did know a lot of the same people throughout that time. Throughout the course of my life, I think I went to nine or 10 different schools from kindergarten through my senior year. So the average person goes through like three, <laughs> I went through nine. So I guess I don't really have a situation where it's like a home base to come home to. It's kind of always been different. I think a lot of people have that experience of like coming home, they're like grandparents or their parents live in the same house. I don't have any grandparents anymore and my parents, you know, live alone and they live separately. So I guess I don't have a ton of experiences like coming home. It's like moving and, and having a new place to live is kind of normal for me. And I think that's why in my adulthood, I move every single year. Hi, can I be on your video? Sure. And here is the man, the myth, the legend. Hey. Jeff Dayton, everybody. Hey. Well, I was just saying that, you know, growing up, we moved a lot and so it's really kind of like profound to have a place to come home to and like you know yeah. having lived so many years here like formative years of my life and going through like a relationship living here and just like i started basically my youtube channel i filmed so many videos in this backyard and it's just really cool to be yeah. a part of well all right so hello youtube world this is my dad edit, okay edit. exit there okay i'll edit that out Anyways, it just feels really good to be here. And yeah, like having been through so many life experiences here, that's just like all that I think about when I come out here. It's like, oh, I filmed that video there, or I did the ice bucket challenge over there, or had this memory, that memory, you know, and it's just really nice. It's nice to see like the old neighbors. We took a walk around the neighborhood yesterday, and this vlog isn't going to be very cohesive. It's going to be just like a lot of all over the place, but it just feels really good. It feels good to be back. So today is Wednesday, and today is the day that I'm hanging out with my best friend all day who I haven't seen since like summer of 2019. So I'm very excited to spend the day with her. There's a bug on my camera. It's so humid right now, I wanna die. So I'm gonna go back inside. So anyways, come along. So, so good to be home. It's gonna be like a nice little battery recharge before we head back to the desert. but I'll get that to you soon. Your reply to Nate Klinger says I'm out of the house for a while, but I'll get that to you soon. Ready to send it? Yes. I'm playing it IE this Friday with Mark, Tommy, and Shallow, and sent a smiley emoji. Reply to the group? Yes. Well, we're in the car now, almost to the BFF's house, and I'm driving through my hometown at the moment. So my dad doesn't live in the hometown that I grew up in. He's lived in the house that he lives in for, what, about 10 years now? Uh, yeah, it's pretty close. And before that, we lived in a different part of town, and it's just so wild. Remember my British boyfriend lived in here? Yeah, and remember when that was just a farm field? Yes, driving past, like, my friends' houses from high school, ex-boyfriends' houses, um, my friends' grandparents' houses that I went to for dinner at one point. Like, I never come back to like where I'm from, so it's just really nice to kind of connect. This is the way that the bus would drive by every day, and like, it's really nice to to be back and just kind of look back on this time in my life and be like, yeah, okay, cool. Like that happened, and I'm in a different place now. But like, this is a huge part of what made me who I am. You know, is that a, this is the way, like Mandalorian? Or Otherwise. What does that mean? This is this is the way. <laughs> you gotta watch Mandalorian. I guess I guess so. They Drew will, up. Drew Come on, I got something doing. on my daughter. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. Disney Plus or die. I remember driving this way when a girl that I went to high school with got married our senior year of high school. That was interesting. Um, that just Gabby? Tennessee things. Yes. You remember? Yeah. She was pregnant and their parents made them get married. It's just so wild, like going oh, through all these places. Our old house? No, this Our is old where this is where Trisha Yearwood lived until she married Garth and the fans were knocking that gate down so they moved. Well but also this is our old neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. So And Alan Jackson lived right over there. Dolly Parton had a house over there too. That's right. So and this, in, this street down here, I'm not gonna like if you if you figure out my hometown, that's fine. But you know, I've made story times and things, and it's like I'm just trying to protect myself. Our old neighborhood. Top secret old neighborhood. Top secret. If you figure it out, then that's fine. But um, my high school is right down that road. Don't want to go there. That's definitely triggering. It's just wild. It's wild being back, but like really, really cool. I always love coming back here, and I don't very often. You know, I I moved away 
a lot since high school. Well, Four times, something like that. So I don't really get to come back. Like I've never lived in my hometown where I went to high school since I was in high school. Well, as um, the country boy used to say, you have trouble making up your mind? He said, well, yes and no. That's me. Crazy. So anyways, gonna reunite with the BFF for the first time reunited since two years. so good. Just going through like a little hometown moment, all the feels, definitely got pulled over right here in this spot. Good times. So many memories. Can I show the back of you? Yeah. <laughs> Look at her. She said she doesn't want to be on camera because she has a zit. So just there she is, my beautiful bestie that people don't even know exists. But this is my... OG for the last 16 years. Okay, I won't show you anymore. <laughs> changed my life if I like came by this and I was in high school. Let's go bisexuals! So fun fact, this building right here used to be a salon and I worked here and broke a glass shelf on my first day and I never went back. <laughs> if you think I'm joking, I am not. I never went back. It was traumatizing. It is now raining. We are just finishing up our little walk around town. It's been so nostalgic and nice to, I've said it a million times, but like relive old memories and stuff. So that's been really nice. Now we're gonna head back and have a hot tub night. So excited. Shadows falling on the walls again. Dancing with gold. Of the people I've been Have they gone? Hello there, today is Thursday. It is my final day in Tennessee, it's so sad. I had such a good time spending the day with my best friend. I think the last thing I showed was us driving in the car, but we went home, ordered a pizza, and sat out in the hot tub for like, three or four hours, honestly. We just talked, had like the deepest chats about life and it was pouring rain for some of the time we were in the hot tub. It was truly magical. My lens is fogging up so bad. How did I ever live here? I used to film videos outside all the time and have to like run over to my camera and wipe off the lens. It's like already fogging up again. It's so humid right now, but it is very, very sunny today, which is very beautiful. We are gonna go on our daily walk. My dad and I have been going on walks every day together, which has been so nice. And we used to do this regularly Regularly when we were roommates and when Layla lived here We would take her every single day on the same little path and if my dad ever couldn't come or if he was out of town Then Layla and I would go and it's just like I just really miss my little Layla <laughs> so weird being in the house that I lived here with her in for a very long time without her. It's a beautiful sunny day Really turned around you struggling with the door over there This is where I would walk every single day and it was Layla's favorite poop spot. Also, where did the tornado come? Right across this field. It would have been in the left. Dang. In that spot. And then it came through this neighborhood here. Yes. With all, all the houses with new roofs. <laughs> yeah, literally. I think I posted about this on Instagram when it happened, but right at the beginning of the pandemic, actually like right before, right? Beginning of March, 2020? Yeah. A big tornado came through Nashville. It was awful. And my dad luckily was out of town, but his neighborhood got hit really hard and they're still suffering. Like you can see uprooted trees still in people's yards. You can see stumps for where trees used to be, new roofs. Pretty much everywhere you go, there's like, you can see little remains. And my dad sent me some videos from when he came, cause like I said, he wasn't, luckily wasn't home. His house was okay. You lost power for what, like eight days or something? Yeah. And then he uh, got home and when he was pulling into the neighborhood, he sent me a video and it was literally insane. I'll insert it here. Nashville has always gone through a lot with storms, but I think this was the worst one in a while. So luckily everyone, at least that we know of in this neighborhood, killed. were okay. Yeah. 
but yeah there were people killed and that's really really sad all right we're all home from our exercise my dad's having a bowl of sherbet as his cool off method and i'm gonna take a shower really quick and then we're gonna watch a freaking american classic which is something that i used to watch with my younger siblings all the time and i'm so excited oh, i'm not talking to you well, wait, 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 hang on he's trying to tell us that there's four clowns stuck somewhere and the car broke down what even is this angle oh my goodness hi okay it's later in the day now it is thursday evening and my dad and i just spent the entire day together it was so fun and now i am heading out to dinner with my friend laura who you may know from the vlogs as one of my besties who lives in la but she also happens to be back home right now so that's kind of funny that doesn't really happen that often so we're gonna meet up at like a little mexican food place have i already had dinner but like i'll have a margarita or something and just have a fun little night together so i'm just putting my shoes on didn't really pack any clothes to like go out in so this is kind of what i came up with i don't even think there's a full length mirror in this house so i can't really show you but okay i gotta put my lipstick on grandma's out for the night i can't believe this is happening so yeah i'm wearing this shirt that is from guess it's thrifted i got it in like probably 2018 same madewell necklace that i've been wearing this entire time also like every day i just packed like one set of accessories so like my rings from etsy earrings from target and then my madewell jeans i wore these yesterday actually <laughs> and also these little flat heels from target they're like literally an inch tall which is my perfect height i don't know how well you can see it but here is the ootn <laughs> And we're ready to go. Also, I feel like I'm in high school again because my dad has been giving me rides places and it's actually really cute. <laughs> Love you! Just realized I forgot to vlog with Laura, so that's all you get. Okay, time to head home. I'm leaving in the morning. I'm very sad, so I'm gonna spend the evening with my dad. Wow, it is my last night on this trip and I'm just reflecting so much on how wonderful it was and also how wonderful it was to not be worried about filming. That part was really nice too. I just truly lived in the moment and it was really happy and wonderful and for the last like two hours, my dad and I have been doing our thing that we always do, which is play each other music. And he plays me a lot of his original stuff that I haven't heard, like the most recent stuff. And then I'll play him like Taylor Swift deep cuts or, you know, songs. He'll be like, what was that song that you liked like 10, 12 years ago and blah, blah, blah. And I'll be like, oh, this one. And we just had such a good time. I was educating him on Jack Antonoff and like the genius that is his work. And I feel really lucky that I get to have this time with my dad after so long of not being with him. And he was playing me some of his music and I just like had tears welling up in my eyes. I fly back in the morning. It's about almost 11 now, well 10, 20. I fly back at like 9.50 tomorrow morning. So I should probably get to bed because I gotta leave for the airport around eight. It came and went, but I will be back here i believe in september and then my dad will be in arizona in october traveling to see family is part of my reality i don't have the fortune of having my entire family close to me i have my mom which is wonderful but if i want to see anyone else in my entire family i have to travel so or they have to travel to me so it's just gonna begin again and i'm totally fine with that but it's just been so lovely coming back home and just reconnecting with this part of my life and i was telling my best friend this last night but i think in the past when I used to move away from somewhere, I would kind of just like disconnect from it completely. And coming back here has just made me feel really in touch with that part of myself and my life and those old memories and had a great time. I'm gonna close this vlog off here. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next vlog. Good night.